Kuchlo, we're at Riga Airport now, and this is actually the 12th airport within the TAV portfolio that's been opened up in the last 10 years or so. And yet, the relationship with the airport authority here is very different from all your other 11 airports. Just walk us through the key differences. Sure, Peter. Uh, what we are doing differently than any uh, our other 11 airports here in Riga is that we are only operator, we are the sole operator of commercial areas uh, in Riga, whereas where we are the whole airport operator in our, our other airports. Uh, what we are uh, responsible for in Riga Airport is the commercial areas, including food and beverage areas, other car, car rental areas, bank areas, any other uh, commercial areas that you can think of, and then of course the duty-free and retail areas, where we brought our uh, partnership company, ATU, into the scene uh, and they've done an excellent job of renovating of the old uh, locations and stores and uh, made this wonderful uh, commercial area in Riga Airport. It's a significant investment here, it's something approaching two million euros. Uh, do you think that's merited? Uh, well, absolutely. I mean, you are actually personally experiencing the, uh, the results. Uh, we, are, we missed a little bit more than two million euros, which is definitely well worth it. Uh, we actually transformed the passenger experience uh, in Riga Airport and every user so far we have been interacted, uh, they have been absolutely very happy about it. This airport services 5 million passengers only yeah. and you really have raised the bar in terms of the quality of the fixtures and fittings and of course the product offer here, it's completely different from what um, we saw previously. Peter, we're looking at Riga Airport as the future hub of the Northern Europe. We're not just looking at the, the, the current uh, the present of uh, Riga and Latvia, but we are investing into the future of uh, Latvia, uh, where we believe this airport has the potential to become a very good, uh, first of all, regional hub, maybe in the very distant future, and maybe a true hub. So we are investing in line with our plans as TAV airports. The thing about Riga is 70% of its outgoing flights, of course, and incoming, come from Baltic Air. Yeah. Uh, that's a very heavy concentration. I suppose part of your um, involvement here is in the direct marketing of the airport to other carriers to help broaden the portfolio. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not as extensive as we want at the moment, but we definitely are investing heavily to become more involved in the future and in the future marketing of other, uh, to other airlines. However, we also believe in the true potential of Air Baltic and we are very experienced in handling a large uh, ratio holder a flag carrier what we do with Turkish Airlines and it's our uh, main airport in Istanbul, the Turk Airport. One final question, Gujula. What do you think is the distinguishing feature, the distinguishing characteristic that defines Riga Airport? This is, this is actually in our uh, 12th year of operations uh, as TAV Airport Holdings. This is the true example and true evidence that which we can show our true experience in operating commercial areas solely. Uh, so, so far we have been only showing our airport operations and with a taste of our duty-free retail experience increasing every year. Uh, but this is a true test for our uh, subsidiaries and partnership companies where we bring in our commercial uh, area management expertise. Kujla, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Welcome to Latvia again. Ersan, here we are standing in the middle of um, your latest recent execution at Riga and it really is um, a great place to be. Um, quite a considerable investment has been made here. Just take us through how much importance you place behind this thank airport. Thank you, Peter. It's nice to have you in Riga with us today. Uh, it's very important because Riga is our first operation in the European Union. Uh, you know that we have started our uh, venture in Istanbul Atatürk Airport in the year 2000 and since we have been uh, establishing couple of uh, operations outside of uh, Turkey and Riga will be the last one where we uh, finally finished the refurbishment process which ended uh, around four months and today uh, we are serving uh, the Riga airport commercial uh, facilities with more than 1,400 square meter retail space. It's a two million euro investment that's very significant against um, only five million passengers, but you're here for the long term, aren't you? We are, although our contract is for 10 years, but this is already uh, a long-term contract, in our opinion. And uh, we believed in the potential uh, of this 
specific area. Seven months into trading here, um, how much benefits have you seen in terms of the increase in passenger spend? Uh, it's very difficult to compare what, uh, what has been done in the past and uh, our performance afterwards. Of course the increase is uh, very satisfactory, but uh, I think what we take as a benchmark is our general performance in our other outlets where we reach this target day by day. And this is where we feel very comfortable and proud. Uh, I believe Riga operation will be uh, a new statement for Atu's future and uh, we are really aiming for putting uh, a benchmark concerning the travel retail business in this region. You've got 1400 square meters here um, and it is unfamiliar territory in a sense because it's not your traditional walk-through store. Um, because of the nature of the way the airport's actually constructed, you've had to split up the mix, different stores, different product offers in different locations. Just walk us through the stores as the passenger sees them. Yes, the Riga International Airport building is an old but a beautiful building. Uh, so the facilities and the building uh, structure is a little bit difficult uh, to go for a total walkthrough concept. But nevertheless, I think we've been studying carefully all the possibilities and with the very open-minded and very uh, helpful uh, airport authorities, RICS, we've come uh, with a master plan. And I think with the help of the uh, local uh, architect company, Arhes, and in cooperation with our Heinemann design team and Atu's uh, architectural team together, we managed to uh, come with the best layout possible, at least for a start. As the passenger comes through, uh, we welcome our guests with a beautiful 380 square meter uh, perfume and cosmetics offer, uh, followed uh, by a liquor and confectionery store. These two stores are totally separated, uh, which may sound a little bit uh, special, but at the end, uh, the flow uh, follows uh, the commercial offer. We recognize the pattern of design, but you've done it differently here, again, from what we've seen in Skopje and before Istanbul. I think this is the uh, improvement part, and I think we add value to our business and we try to be different and maybe match to the to the area or the or the passenger uh, profile uh, but the real challenge was to transform the old building or the old infrastructure into a new one to elevate the comfort level to invest into the air conditionings and all the flooring lighting and come up with a total uh, comfort uh, offer rather than the uh, commercial offer. They're so going to feel comfortable in the fashion shop as well, aren't they? <laughs> it was impressive to see how our brand partners have been uh, really supporting us. And, and many brands like uh, Hugo Boss, uh, Mont Blanc, uh, Swarovski, Porsche Design, uh, and many other brands uh, has been supporting us with our venture here. And although, um, as you uh, mentioned, uh, the traffic may not be in the uh, one of the top levels in, in Europe. Uh, I think the brands believed in us and uh, they also uh, been noticed the, the future potential and the actual growing potential. And the accessory shop shows are willing to invest and are willing to uh, shift the income level. And I think we have really enlarged the basket size, uh, doubling it uh, compared to the uh, previous offers. Opposite fashion and around fashion, you've also got some subcontracted um, stores. Just take us through some of the key highlights. Our aim again is to bring a different angle and different product groups offers and make the uh, offer a little bit more colorful. Standards is one of them. It's a, a local star business where this brand uh, I think is unique and shows a lot of different uh, interesting products for our customers. Ria, is another very interesting local uh, brand who will be easily perceived as an international brand offering very interesting product group as well made in Latvia. We also um, have a great partnership uh, with a Baltic souvenir shop where uh, we emphasize on the Baltic souvenir items not only Latvia for, but serving for the regions. Uh, so we are again very happy uh, to support the local business 
just up the road from Stenders, I mean, it's no more than 20 metres, you've got uh, a uniquely located um, satellite store. Uh, again, it's got a total offer, just minimised. Um, and what's interesting about that store is it like, provides a double whammy because you don't just get passengers, departing passengers going past, you've actually got arriving passengers who, who are kind of interlining uh, to uh, other flights. Um, good location. Uniquely placed, you said the most important thing. This pier is, is uh, very important. So any centimeters is, is quite important at that area. Uh, there is an important amount of traffic going on. So we will in the future probably extend our presence at this area and maybe come up with other offers. One of the things I've noticed about um, the staff here uh, is their quality. Um, your recruitment policy was really quite stiff. Um, I understand that only sort of one in ten of the applicants have got, actually got offered a job and you've got 94 staff or something around that uh, at the moment. And yet they all insisted on being fully trained, not just product knowledge but service and all the rest. Um, uh, it's significant and it shows in their overall quality. Uh, we have invested a lot of time and energy uh, for trainings and uh, we have been uh, moving around a lot uh, to show our other operations uh, but nevertheless none of those efforts has been done for no reason um, and today uh, I think uh, we will achieve our uh, excellent service uh, goals uh, easily with this really precious uh, local team. If there's one single statement that you could make that really best defined your retail offer here what would it be? I think uh, in an airport like Riga, uh, we have seen, we thought that we have seen and we, are, we were in a, in a business where speed counted a lot, but we see in Riga that we have to be even faster. I think what we have achieved here, the excellent service uh, in cooperation with the speed uh, works very well. Thank you to the, our ATU team, ATU Latvian team, which, which has been performing uh, excellent in the past year. Arturs, the duty free offer here at Riga Airport is just under a year old. Um, are you pleased with the results so far? Yes, uh, we are very pleased with the results. Atu is an operator of choice. They won a tender a little bit more than one year ago. And according to our agreement with them, they had to redevelop all the commercial areas and the duty free zone of our airport. And then they've done a, a really good job. They've delivered everything on time and the uh, assortment that they offer now is according to the best industry standards. Have the results met with your expectations? Absolutely. They have even exceeded our expectations. So uh, passengers are more satisfied. Uh, we see more brands offered in the shops. Some brands are um, those which are never, which have never been offered before, so they brought in new brands, new value for the passengers. Where do you go from here? Well, uh, the next step would be continuing developing the, uh, the new shops, and they are working really well on doing this, uh, inviting new brands, top-level brands, and um, the next step for the airport itself is the development of the new infrastructure, terminal infrastructure. We are planning to expand the terminal and there will be a new possibility to develop new commercial areas, new duty-free shops, new retail shops. So I guess non-aeronautical revenue is really important to you. Just how much of your business does it actually represent? Uh, absolutely. Non-aviation revenues now, for, uh, last year in 2011, it was the first year when they exceeded 50 percent of the total revenue share. So last year it was 57% that they generated us from total income. And That's we well above the industry average, well above. Absolutely, it's way above the industry average. They are important for us because thanks to this income, we can support our airport charges, keep them low, attract new airlines to fly to Riga, and uh, make passengers happy because they pay less for their airline tickets. What are you targeting in terms of your uh, non-aviation revenue? What, what's your ultimate well, objective? <laughs> it's hard to say now because to exceed 50% was in our best dreams and thanks to Atu uh, we have achieved that. So the next step is to go even beyond this number. It's hard to say how far. 